Ladies and gentlemen, it has been months since we saw and heard anything about Horizon Forbidden West and today we have got some brilliant information. We are getting some brand new gameplay, not just a couple minutes, 14 full minutes of brand new in-game action featuring the heroic protagonist Aloy, all captured on the PlayStation 5. Now in this video, I'm going to be breaking down just what this gameplay will be as well as what this story may lay out for Aloy in Horizon Forbidden West. And West. So if you enjoy this video, click the button down below and subscribe for more. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So as mentioned previously, it has been nearly 11 months since PlayStation actually showed the fans the first glimpse of Horizon Forbidden West during the PlayStation 5 showcase. And earlier today, they announced that this Thursday on May 27th, they are going to give us some never before seen gameplay. Now it's starting at 9 a.m. Pacific time, 5 p.m. BST and 6 p.m. CST. So we are definitely going to tune in for that. Now it's during a state of play event and they are going to debut some Forbidden West gameplay. Now it's a 20 minute segment and we'll see about 14 minutes of brand new in-game action featuring Aloy all captured on the PlayStation 5. Now they're going to say that this reveal has been a true team effort and they're very excited to show you what they have in store. But they go on to thank the fans and also say that whether you've been with them since the first game Horizon Zero Dawn or you're only just getting to know this incredible world, they want to share this with everyone and it'll be showcased on their Twitch and YouTube. YouTube again at 9 a.m. PDT, 5 p.m. BST and 6 p.m. CST for the special State of Play pre-show and then at 2 p.m. PDT, 10 p.m. BST and 11 p.m. CEST for the Horizon Forbidden West gameplay reveal. Now not much is known about this game except we are surrounding ourselves within San Francisco but it's definitely not going to look like the modern day San Francisco we have seen in images some people live in or even throughout Watch Dogs 2 where it was the main location for the game. And one thing I also want to talk about is the ending of Horizon Zero Dawn, the first game, because it revealed a lot about what is going to happen in the next one, especially with Silence as he had his own plans for the AI tech. So there are going to be spoilers for Horizon Zero Dawn, so if you don't like spoilers, click away now, but if you do, let's get right into it. So Horizon Zero Dawn's story culminates on Aloy's successful attempts to stop the marauding AI Hades from unleashing a new plague of corrupted machines and destroying life on Earth. However, things take an interesting turn in the final cutscene. Rather than being destroyed outright, Hades is shown instead to be dormant, like Sauron in Lord of the Rings, and its entity is trapped into some sort of capsule by Silence, a mysterious traveller who has helped Aloy throughout the game. Silence says he has much more to discuss with the AI before turning to look at an enormous dormant machine. Now, while trailers for the game's sequel have hinted add a new threat that could be linked to the corruption Hades causes, there has been next to no information released on where the story will go. However, what's clear is that Silence will again be heavily involved, but what exactly could be his plan? Now, to understand what his plans are, it's important to examine his murky past. The character doesn't reveal much about himself in Horizon Zero Dawn, though players discover that he is borderline obsessed with, a with acquiring as much knowledge as possible about the old ones. He also has a series track record in betrayal. Now in his younger years, Silence posed as a shaman and stole from a group named the Conclave. He then struck out on his own and was the first person to explore the Gaia Prime ruins, though he could not get past its security systems. Then he discovered Hades. After stumbling across the carcass of a corrupted machine, Silence repaired Hades and struck a deal with the AI. He would give it information about the new world if it taught him about fields like physics and computer science from the old world. Silence also admits to Aloy that he played a large part in founding the Eclipse, a cult that serves Hades. However, the AI eventually decided Silence has outlived his usefulness and ordered him to be killed. Once Silence caught wind of this, he escaped and went into hiding until he crossed paths with Aloy and decided to help her. Now, throughout the game, Silence assists Aloy in her quest to find answers while also withholding information from her. Now, he gives Aloy the tools necessary to defeat Hades, but it appears he knew 
knew the AI would not be destroyed. Instead, he wanted Aloy to weaken it enough so that he could bend it to his will. Once he captured Hades in his device, Silas mentions that he has questions about the AI's masters. He seems to be alluding to the people who initially awakened Hades in the first place for it to carry out its protocol of cleansing the planet, a group that isn't identified in the game. As always, Silence wants answers. He plans to use Hades to finally get as much information as possible about the old one, perhaps so he can coordinate the rebuilding of society. What is more ominous, however, are his intentions with the Metal Devil, the gigantic machine he looks at at the game's main storyline ending. This machine is far bigger than anything Aloy goes up against in Horizon Zero Dawn, and the tease suggests it will be revived in the sequel. Perhaps Silence wants to harness Hades to reawaken this titan and control it for himself. If that's the case, Aloy will have to finally confront the man who helped her discover her origins. Holy shit, that is, that is quite a lot of information to actually go into, but if you guys want a quick recap, just get to the beginning of the video, rewatch it again, I don't mind. But all I know for certain is that Silence is going to be the main threat in Horizon Forbidden West. It just has to be. The way they left us on a cliffhanger at the end of that game, all mysteries and battles are in the future for Aloy. And hey, for Reno, the main reason why we need to go to this new location could be the fact that in the beginning of the game, he might be able to awaken this giant demon, this metal devil, and it destroys everything. So we have to go finding something better, something stronger to combat Hades once again. Guys and girls, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, click the like button down below and don't forget to subscribe for some more Horizon Forbidden West informational videos. Hope you all have an amazing day. Like the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video.